So this book is a survey of the key themes in Mark's gospel. It's not a commentary on Mark, but it's looking at the distinctive ideas uh, that Mark uh, has, or some of the, the main themes uh, that Mark uh, uh, discusses about Jesus. Uh, we're blessed in having four gospels, and uh, often we sort of uh, collapse the gospels together and we think that they all say the same thing. And obviously there's lots of overlap, but there are certain things that, uh, that each gospel writer will bring out that are distinct. And so this is a, a, a sort of summary of some of the kind of key ideas in Mark's gospel. Uh, the book is written for anyone who's interested in Mark's gospel, particularly uh, uh, people who want to get into uh, Mark's gospel in a little bit more depth. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a technical book. Uh, there's not sort of uh, uh, you know, untranslated Greek or anything like that, uh, but it's, uh, it's a, a sort of detailed examination of Mark's gospel. It might be the sort of thing that if you're a, a Bible study leader, uh, you might uh, read just to give you a, a sort of a, a more general overview of, of what's going on in Mark's gospel. Uh, as I wrote the book, uh, a, a few things struck me uh, afresh uh, about Mark's gospel about Jesus. Uh, one was the, the idea of discipleship, uh, particularly the second half of Mark's gospel. Uh, he talks a lot about, uh, Jesus talks a lot about what it means to be a disciple. And in that section, right in the middle of that section is, is teaching on, on uh, marriage and family and children. And I find that quite striking that sometimes we, we put those into to, to separate categories. You know, there's discipleship, there's being radical as a follower of Jesus, and then there's kind of family over here. But Mark brings them together, or shows that Jesus brought them together, and that being faithful in our, in our family as a husband and a wife, uh, that's what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. The other thing that struck me is the, the very beginning of the gospel. Uh, Mark begins by simply saying, the beginning of the gospel. And you know, when I, when I read that and thought about that, I thought that's, that's just a really interesting way to start. And it's, it's not that Mark is saying, okay guys, I'm beginning my book. I think he's, uh, he's referring to the gospel there as the proclaimed message uh, that as a first century Christian, you would have heard and, and through which you would have become a Christian. So as you read that as a first century Christian, when you read the word gospel, you wouldn't be thinking of uh, obviously Mark, Matthew, Luke, or, or John, you'd be thinking of the message. And so I think what Mark is doing in the very first verse is saying, uh, this is the, the beginning. This is how the gospel that you've heard began. This is the backstory to the proclaimed uh, message. So I, I find that uh, uh, interesting. And in the book, I explore some of the implications uh, of that. I think Mark is a, a, a wonderful uh, and compelling portrait of Jesus. Uh, sometimes because Mark is, uh, is shorter than the other Gospels, uh, we possibly overlook, a uh, overlook it a little bit. Uh, Luke and Matthew, which are uh, similar to, to Mark, give much more fuller uh, descriptions and teaching. John gives us a different perspective on Mark, but I think uh, uh, Mark is a, a compelling, um, in many ways, action-filled. Uh, you know, the, the, the narrative moves very quickly, and I think it's a wonderful book, uh, and uh, it'd be great uh, for people to, to get to know uh, Mark better, and you know, my prayer is that uh, this book would help them to do that.